We'll show time cards at various intervals to indicate the remaining time and we'll stop any speaker who exceeds the maximum time limit. No questions, comments, cell phones or picture taking will be permitted from the audience at any time. The audience will only be permitted to applaud following the question and answer period. The audience is banned from any material that bears the name or symbol of a competing university and we ask the audience to exit the room immediately following the uh, question and answer period. Competitors, when you're ready, you may begin. Imagine, you've been waiting on site for over two hours for a supplier to arrive, only to find out later that he's not going to show up because that email you were supposed to send him is still in your draft box. Good morning, I'm Christina, these are my colleagues April and Brady, and we are Trifecta Consulting. We are here to help Quest Design build their business, build their profits, and ultimately build their future. What we have identified for you is your primary issue. This is that right now, US Quest Design require a new information system to effectively manage your products and coincide with your expanding business. To solve this uh, problem, we have come up with, oh, to coincide with this primary issue, we've identified another, uh, a few secondary issues. These include supply chain management. Uh, you are a development business. You deal with many different stakeholders, um, including your general contractors, and you need to make sure that these multiple layers of communication can all coincide with each other. Secondly, communication. Communication is key. Right now, you're communicating through mainly emails, text messages, PBM. We need a way for everybody to be able to communicate together to make your business as effective as it possibly can. Thirdly, your final second, secondary issue, employee, employee adoption. So you've tried this one system, it didn't go over so well with your employees, nobody really adopted to it. So we want to make sure going forward that any system we do implement um, will be successful and will be adopted by each and every one of your employees. And we're going to do this with, through effective change management. So what we have for you is our strategic recommendation. This is to use, utilize our skills as Trifecta Consulting to ultimately select a system that, to meet, that meets Quest Design's needs. We'll go through, um, we'll talk about it later in our presentation, but we are going to go through a request for proposal um, project management, and um, we're really going to emphasize that change management to ensure that your employees adopt to this new system and ensure that it can be as, eff as effective as possible. In order to first go through this, um, come up with this recommendation, we did have to do a, a bit of an analysis to understand where your business is right now in relation to the industry and um, what we're going to need coming from an end user perspective, which will be your employees ultimately. So moving into our industry analysis, so you are situated um, in Vancouver right now. Uh, you build in both Vancouver and Alberta, but right now you're heading on that, that 300 unit project in Vancouver and this is great because Vancouver is an attractive city. You've identified this niche market of young professionals and Vancouver is consistently attracting young professionals which is great for your business. Secondly, housing prices. Uh, Vancouver is consistently having housing prices rising above national levels which is great for you and you're going to realize those profits in the end with this new organization of this system. Thirdly, a regulated industry. So you did identify to us that there is some regula regulations to do with your industry, so we just have to make sure going forward that any information we collect coincides with those regulations so that we are fair within the industry. Moving on to our company analysis, we wanted to get a better uh, look at what you guys are exactly as Quest Design. So our first factor is that you're a real estate developer. So you have um, a lot of business-to-business -business interactions. You deal with many different stakeholders, engineers, uh, 
uh, architects, many different uh, subcontractors to do with your general contractors. So you need to make sure that everybody can integrate together and make sure that you can utilize that information sharing to really help produce more with your business. Secondly, you're a young company. So you just started in 2011. You have, you've done your due diligence. You um, have done that market research and identified that you um, do have a target market for this new project coming up, which is great. Uh, second, or thirdly, um, your current process right now. So right now you're using many different technological platforms, Excel, Microsoft. Um, you're updating all different information. And you want to make sure that you, you have the opportunity for your managers and your organization to communicate more effectively. Our bottom line being that you have the opportunity to use technology to ultimately optimize your business. Moving on to our final analysis, this is of your end user. So ultimately yourselves and your employees, everyone who's going to be using this new system. We want to make sure that there's satisfaction and going forward we're going to really emphasize that change management to ensure that those adoption rates are right up there. So our first factor is communication is key. So everybody needs to communicate as I had said before. Um, if communication is not effective, we do have that potential time loss of people searching through their emails, through their text messages, looking for that specific message they want, and also information loss. Uh, if data doesn't get input into the right um, platform correctly, etc. Secondly, change management is necessary, as I mentioned. We're going to focus on the ADCAR model throughout this presentation to ensure that we can uh, implement anything effectively because we know that you did try that, that one system and it, it didn't uh, ultimately have success. So we want to make sure whatever we do going forward that it does. Thirdly, this is an on-the-go job. So we want to have something that's mobile that people can uh, update from wherever they are. And we're going to do that through a request for proposal and ensure that whatever system we go with is going to have all the necessary requirements for your business. So ultimately, Quest has the potential to utilize, uh, to foster connection between all its, all its employees within the company and with outside our stakeholders through really implementing the greatest system for Quest. I will now pass it off to April to go through our alternatives. Great, thank you, Christina. So today <coughs> we've gone through a couple different alternatives and then ultimately come up with the recommendation, which is building your future. So this is just a summary we have up right now. And in order to uh, determine what the recommendation was, on the next slide here, we have the decision criteria. So these three uh, criteria were used to evaluate each of the alternatives and then come to the conclusion of which one is the best fit for your company. So first is scalability. Uh, you've mentioned multiple times that you're growing. You're growing at a fast rate too. So you want to ensure that the software and the system that we implement for you is able to grow with your company as well. It's simplicity. So you have about 25 employees right now and technology isn't the main focus. It's construction. That's what you do best. So we want to ensure that the system is simple and easy to use so you can best work with it. And then connectivity. As Christina had mentioned, uh, we need to ensure that there's uh, significant and there's solid communication between all parties involved and there's no more miscommunication, it's easy to use, uh, there's no more barriers in between the, uh, mo the different modes of communication. So first up, uh, first alternative we have is to relaunch easy projects. Now this was the first system that you tried to implement. Uh, your employees didn't adopt this. We don't know the full reason why they didn't adopt it. But as we can look at the next slide here, we've chosen to reject this alternative for a couple reasons. One of the main reasons that it was rejected is because it doesn't include all of the requirements that you need for your specific company. So you have all these different individual needs, and one of them, communication, a huge one, uh, there was no mobile chat, or there was no chat service with this software, which is a huge reason why it fell apart. As a result, you kind of fell back into using those different modes of communication, and from that, it doesn't offer everything that you needed to, so really it doesn't meet any of our decision criteria that we've laid out for you today. So we're just going to toss this one to the side. Next one, out of the box. So you gave us a few different types of systems that you had analyzed. So this would be selecting one of those systems based on the information that you provided. Now if we flip to the next slide here, we'll go over a bit more about advantages and disadvantages, but really all of these had unique aspects to them, but none of them met 
every single one of the criteria that we want your system to have moving forward. And that's why you see the orange across the board there. They have certain aspects, but not all of the aspects that we want for your system. So for that reason, out of the box, from the ones that you've given us, isn't one of the solutions that we have. So next up here, building your future. Now this is to work with us. We have expertise uh, in the systems, and there are hundreds of different systems that you could implement for your business. And for that reason, we're going to work with you and pick the top system that works best for your company and works best with our knowledge. We can find that system for you. And Brady is going to go into a bit more of how exactly we're going to implement that, how it's all going to fit within your business. So he'll tell us a bit about that more afterwards. Uh, but as you can see, right across the board there, green, it meets all of the, the different decision criteria. We'll pick one that can grow with your business as you grow. Uh, we'll make sure it's simple, easy to use, and we're going to ensure that there's that communication factor to it. So on the next slide here, what we've done is outline some of your top needs that we think and you have mentioned to us are very important to the success of the system. So a couple, Christina had mentioned a couple here, just for your reference throughout the presentation here. Uh, this is the uh, needs that we have assessed for the system. And then on the next slide, we have outlined the outcomes of the system that we're going to implement. So there's just a list that we've compiled of everything from working with us and from implementing that new system. This is what we're going to achieve through that. And next up here, we did a little bit of a cost analysis. So all of these figures you can see in your appendices, uh, starting with the software price range, just from the ones that you've given us, we've priced it from either $800 to $4,500, and this is uh, on the basis of 25 users and for one year service. So 845 pretty low considering uh, you're working with quite good or quite large profit margins, um, which we've calculated to be 25%. And what we did, uh, if you wanted to refer to our appendices, uh, it would be 0.5% is 150,000 and 3% and is 900,000, which is just of your 25% profit margin. So as you can see, 150,000 at 0.5%, that's completely doable for your company, for any hardware, software, anything you need to implement, uh, which we can talk a bit more in the implementation, which Bree is going to do right now for us. Great. Thank you, April. So what we've done for you here today is we've given you a go-ahead strategy as to what we, found, what we found that your company needs. But no strategy is complete without how are we going to get that done. So what we've done here is provide you with an implementation plan that takes you really stage by stage through the implementation process. So we have a five-stage implementation process, and each one of these we, ha we, in we highlight both change management people processes as well as the system processes themselves and any changes that you may need to make to your business process processes and your daily change to how you really do business as your company if need be. So first off is our implementation plan, so, uh, is our initiation stage of our implementation plan, sorry. Um, so first stage of this is for you to get uh, a meeting, hire, host a meeting of your upper management, uh, all the key decision makers of your company. What we really want you to do here is we want you to really define the objectives and the goals that you see for your company. What are the real requirements that you see that may be nice that weren't available in some of these uh, softwares you provide to us, and what are things that we can really take to use for this company themselves. What we want you to really do as well is analyze your current business processes. We see that you do do business in a very specific way, We're communicating through different uh, multi-channels, as suppliers, uh, through the city of uh, Vancouver as well, as zoning districts and that. So we really want to sit down with you and analyze your current business processes, and then that way we can really analyze the needs that you have in the system here. And finally, we also want you to then include your employees. It's really important that when you're looking to make a decision of this size, that will affect them this importantly, uh, in, on a day-to-day -day basis that they are involved in the decision-making process. So what we really want you to do is take this to the employees and let them know that these changes are going to be made and we want you to let them know that they, their opinion is very validated in this decision. What this does for them is that creates the awareness of, uh, for these employees and it really starts to get the, the buzz going around the office. All three of these things will be done in the first month so we want you to start these initially. The second stage of our implementation plan is our plan stage. So this really begins with the determination of the budget. We've kind of given you some highlights as of right now with a range of 0.5% to a 2% range of your revenues. Obviously, as you see, that's a huge range for you as you can go from $150,000 to $900,000. And with the systems that we have that are potentially out there right now, you're looking at maybe spending a maximum of $5,000 on that. 
What this does is it allows you to spend a large uh, amount of money investing in your company infrastructure and your hardware needs that really gives your employees the tools that they need to succeed with this system. Um, what you really want, what we want you to do now is reevaluate. You've got, gone through what are your objectives, what are your goals with the system. We want, you, we want to sit down with you and reevaluate your new system requirements. We kind of talked about in your, uh, in the information you provide to us, uh, some uh, basic requirements you would like. But what we really want to do is we want to really get a feel of customizable. Uh, how do you want the day-to-day -day use of the system to feel? We really want to get the feeling for that involved. So we want to meet with you there. Um, what we also want to do at this point as well is establish key performance indicators. It's really hard for us to know for you if a system implementation is a success unless we really establish these key performance indicators for you. So what we have done is, for example, uh, provide you with um, employee satisfaction and error rate as two of these. So if your error rates go down, then your, uh, which they will, uh, your uh, implementation has been successful in that regard. Next up, we want you to begin to draft a request for proposal here. Um, what this request for proposal does is it allows you to go to vendors, not just the seven that you listed in the information you provide to us. We've said that there's hundreds and hundreds of uh, these uh, companies and vendors that will make something for you. What we want to do is we want to take our knowledge of the industry and pair that with your passion for the job that you do, and we really want to pair those together and create the best system for you overall. So from here, we want you to then select your top three of these uh, proposals that you get back and uh, evaluate the top three and create those top three as an upper management team. From here, the next stage of that will be then to engage your employees once again and bring this to your employees and really get their feedback as to what they think the best one is and the pros and cons to each and how can you as a company collectively make a decision on which uh, system to go with and any potential risks that may happen with that specific system. Uh, this will happen at the end of month three. Here we move into the execute phase of the plan. This is the really exciting stage where you actually have to begin to purchase the hardware, really get in contact with the company themselves. So what you need to do is, is as a company make your final selection and then at this time you will then have your go ahead system. You'll begin to develop, develop your terms of your contract. So what this would do is would be support uh, from the company, uh, online support times for my, their IT department, um, any training programs that they have as well, and developing, setting up training uh, personnel, as well as initiating your security as well. You said that security was important to you, so what we want to make sure is that uh, these uh, companies follow uh, confidentiality, integrity, and availability in all of their systems that we select for you today. This will be in month four. Um, next, we want you to ensure that you do have hardware compatibility. There may be uh, the need to upgrade some of your hardware. As you said, you were running some Apple products and some BlackBerry products. With the budget that we have set out for you, it would be uh, great for you as a company to really uh, provide work phones or laptops or whatever you, we decide to go with based on whichever system we choose and make sure that everyone's running the same operating system so that compatibility is really ensured here. This will be in month number five. Uh, next, we want you to then transfer the data that you have currently, any files on the project that you're working on and transfer that into the new, uh, the new system that you've worked. This will also happen at month five, at work five, uh, at month five, and then we also want you to initiate training at the same time. Training is very important to your employees. We want them to make sure that they feel supported and that you yourselves are also invested in this. So we want you to take the training alongside with your employees. This will happen with month five. What this does is this also develops that knowledge that it's really essential for the employees to actually use the system itself. Um, then at month six, we want you to cut over and begin to use the new system. So up until this point, you will be running with your old system, like communication, or your cell phones that you were using up until now. But now you have this new chat feature there. We want all communication to be going through the new system that we have selected together. So then we move on to the monitor stage of our implementation plan. What this does is this allows employees to give feedback uh, to you uh, as a team and uh, to us as well. We really want to make sure that any risks or any potential uh, problems that arise with the system, we're able to address as soon as possible. We want to keep um, keep in the trenches with your your team in the office space to make sure that they are feel supported in every aspect of this implementation. So this will be from month eight to ongoing. Also, at this time, we want you to evaluate your KPIs. Your employees have been able to use the system for a while, so we'll be able to tell from this point on is this system a success. And if for some reason it's not, how can we make it a success from here? The final stage of our implementation plan is the closing stage. 
What this is, is once again, continuous employee support. We can't let any workarounds go around the system, as uh, was suggested may have happened with the previous system that you implemented. So really just staying on, making sure that these employees aren't taking shortcuts. And that really comes from leading by example. And that's ongoing as well. And then we want you to really foster st uh, stakeholder relationships. Let them know that uh, all your st uh, stakeholders matter to you, whether that be your employees, your suppliers, your contractors, um, even the zoning department. All these, all these relationships are very important to you and your business that you do on a day-to-day -day basis. I will now pass it off to Christina who will go through risk and mitigations and close this up. Thank you, Brady. In association with the strategic recommendation, there is a few risks that we do have to keep in mind. The first being that there's not um, much buzz around your request for proposal. So if this were to happen, we're going to mitigate this by really redefining our scope and the parameters of what we really require for this uh, project going forward. We've identified that this is a low probability just because there are so many different systems out there and a medium severity if it were to happen. The second risk is that employees are dissatisfied with the system. So in order to mitigate this, we're really going to go with that effective change management. Thirdly, a project delay. Now this is a really realistic um, risk, however, we believe that by defining those milestones, being able to reach those and check those off our list, we're going to be able to stay on track. So we believe that we have come up with a strategic recommendation for UQuest and an ultimate implementation plan to help you achieve excellence and really build your business towards that future. Thank you for your time, and I'll open the floor to any questions. Um, given the urgency of the building in the next phase of the, the Tivoli build out, how do you feel about the uh, schedule to implement the, uh, the collaboration communication projects and any issues we need to consider with those two timing issues? Uh, obviously, with this project uh, coming up uh, very, very uh, quickly here, it's really important that we get on this process as soon as possible, so that's very important. Also, that, uh, that project management is really key, and that's why we really feel like having us on board to help you manage the implementation of this, to manage this project uh, management, and then your project managers can work on your project. So that's what we took into account when dealing with that issue. Thank you. Um, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Early on in the presentation, you talked about a benchmark of 80% adoption rate. Later on, when you're talking about the implementation, you talked about how important it was to have everybody on board. Can you kind of uh, expand a little bit on, on that discrepancy? You bet. So the 80% is just the industry average. Uh, for they, That's considered a successful adoption rate. So that's industry average, but with our help and your new system, we're going to put you to 100%. So that's kind of the difference between the two numbers there. In addition to what April said, you do only have those 25 employees, so we believe that we can take that personalized approach and really get everybody on board to get that 100% as well. So the presentation was good. We really appreciate that. Um, any, um, from an angle of, of resource planning, um, 25 employees working on a project of 20 units now going to 100, 300 units, um, any importance, any focus uh, was given to the resource planning from that perspective that you would need some of the employees from the Quest Design to work on this project with you. Um, has there been any consideration given to the resource planning as to what that, uh, what that draw on the resource demand would be? Yeah, that's an excellent question. We did take that into consideration. And we understand that there is limited resources and you guys are um, starting this big project. And that's why we believe that by coming on board with you and working alongside you, us managing this project on the side of your um, large scale project, we can um, be the liaison between it and really coincide together and make that successful to allocate those resources proper properly. I shared some of the same questions along the same lines. Did you consider um, at all using a package of some of the offers and just from the other list instead of maybe trying to pick one that fit all the needs? Was there maybe a couple of the more focused ones that holistically would make? We did do. Uh, we did kind of uh, think about that as well, and obviously we aren't ruling out any of these uh, options specifically. What we do want to do, though, is kind of come up with exactly that—a custom solution that fits you best as a company. So, if 
what may happen, end up happening, is that we realize that the one system fits really well in this way, and one system fits well in this way, that's what we can go with. The only risk that we do potentially see with that is that if one system implementation wasn't necessarily a success in the uh, past, then two running, trying to implement two systems at the same time can really be a headache for your employees and the change management structure will really have to be vigorous to do that. But if that's uh, the best solution, that's something we'll evaluate uh, further through our relationship. I really like the presentation. It's great. Um, I liked that you talked one of the alternatives was to relaunch the piece of project. So did you put any thought into possibly, you know, integrating an existing communication system into there? Because companies already purchased the software and we did take that into consideration. However, we'd like something that's already linked to it. So that like Brady said, um, there's no kind of extra bundling to it. If we can get a, a system already that has everything incorporated into it, and it's, I think it would be a lot smoother, uh, a lot more simple, which would work best for these, these employees that you have specifically. Um, one last question. What, what consideration did you put into um, this overarching system in terms of so many different types of jobs and how they do their work? It won't fit into... into one type of system. Can you, can you elaborate? So, and some of the needs we laid out for you, one of those was information sharing and business intelligence. We understand you have many stakeholders, so that's why we wanted to go with this request for proposal to really get that system that fits all those requirements so we can get all that information and be able to really analyze, um, have all that data together to be able to analyze that. So those are some of the considerations we took into when coming up with this recommendation for you.